So today we are doing a cheap versus expensive challenge. We have the cheap Zakian V Union collection box coming in at £30 up against the expensive Incineroar GX Premium collection box with that Evolutions booster pack coming in at £100. We're going to open both of them up and we're going to add up all the values of all the hits and everything that comes inside to see which one gives us the most money back. Will it be the cheap one or the expensive one? There's only one way to find out. Let's rip into it. Okay, today I'm very much looking forward to opening these two boxes. The Zakian V Union Special Collection Box and this Incineroar GX Premium Collection Box, which has that Evolutions booster pack in it. If we pull the Charizard, I'm going to lose my sh Bruh. Once we've opened them up, we're going to add up the value of the promo cards and any hits that we get to see which one made the most money. And that, of course, is going to be our winner. But first, I want to announce a giveaway for today's video. I'm going to give away the brand new Bolton V collection box to one of you guys watching. And I'm going to cover postage anywhere in the world. And to get involved, you need to do three things. Firstly, like the video. Secondly, subscribe to the channel and ring the alert bell. And finally, comment down below with which one of these two collection boxes is your favorite. And that's it, you're in that giveaway. Just make sure to tune in this Thursday to my Japanese Pokemon Go box break that I'm doing to find out if you've won, because that's when I'm gonna draw the winner. All right, so let's kick off with the Zakin V Union collection box, the cheap collection box first. All right, let's kick off with that jumbo card. Really nice, actually. These old V Union cards are really cool. They're actually textured around the edge, which I do like. Then you've got the four card version as well. I actually think it's got a little bit of value to it. A Professor Burnett's card, a code card, yay. And then the four boosters, Sword and Shield, Vivid Voltage, Pikachu to be had in there, guys, that's big money. Chilling Rain, either of the Calyrex would be nice. And Evolving Skies, obviously if we get the Raid Quasar or the Umbrian out of that pack, that is like probably gonna be a win. All right, let's kick off with Chilling Rain. Let's see how we get on. Now, collection boxes, I'm gonna say it right now, guys. They normally do terribly for pull rates for me. I can't remember the last time I got a decent hit out of a collection box, so let's see if we can get one today. I'm not holding my breath. I don't think we're gonna end up with massive values on these cards, if I'm honest with you. But right, okay, oh, reverse hollow, but not rare, and nothing in Chilling Rain. Right, Vivid Voltage. There, of course, is a chance for amazing rares. Now, they're not hugely valuable. I think they go from anything from like five, five pound up to nearly 10 pound if you manage to get like the Rayquaza, but realistically, not huge value to them. They are very cool though. Right, League Staff. Sandil, Walma, Weedle, Beldum, Fanfi, Amazing Rare. No, it's a reverse trainer. That can be further from an Amazing Rare, right? But, well, Okay, so two packs left from this collection box, and so far, the only value we have is the promo cards. It's not looking good for the cheap box today, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, you never know. There could be one card that pulls it out of it for us today, but we're gonna find out. Right, Doug Trio. That face on that Doug Trio there, look at that thing there. That is so, I love that artwork, that is wicked. Right, since the, oh, Pikachu, that's a nice card. I don't really think it's got much value. It's a cool artwork though. Score Bunny. Hood hood. Okay, right, we're getting to the reverse here. Okay, now is there gonna be a hit to finish? No. Okay, last pack magic for the Zakian box, and this generally has to be last pack magic, because right now, guys, we have got zero hits from this box so far. The Incineroar box is probably gonna take this from like promo cards alone, I think, unless we clutch something right here from the cheap box, but it's not looking good. Here, my chance, slack off. Petil, we got another Pikachu. Okay, no, nothing in the reverse holo slot. Well, actually, you don't get anything in this. Why did I say that anyway? But here we go, come on. Nothing from the Zakian box. It's not looking good. All right, time for the expensive box. The Incineroar GX box coming in at 100 pounds. I actually got this like nearly three years ago now from an Asda for like 30 quid on clearance. And it's been in my collection all that time. But that Evolutions pack has been calling my name. All right, first up, we have got that giant promo. And actually, they are bigger. They actually made them smaller when it came to V-Unions. It was weird they changed the size. But yeah, really like this as well. Textured, the pinstriping, very cool promo. We then have that Litton promo as well. As you can see, it's like Cosmic Hollow in it as well. Tora Cat as well to go with it. And then the Incineroar GX Full Art promo card. That's gonna be going in my Full Art promo binder that I've got 
really nice design on that. We have a nice looking Incineroar pin actually for any of you pet. That might have a little bit of value actually to add to the total value. An Incineroar coin looking pretty damn cool. The code card, yo. All right, then the booster packs. And actually, I didn't realize this had a couple of these in here, but this is really cool. So we've got Guardians Rising times two. We have a stats base set Sun and Moon. But look at this. We've got Steam Siege, which a lot of people hate on it. But the Seek Rare, the Volcanion, is a very cool card. We've got Breakthrough. Imagine we get one of the Mewtwo's. That would be awesome. And the all-important Evolutions. And it's the Charizard pack artwork as well. Right, we're going to kick off Steam Siege. So this is a free to the front jobby on XY. And I'm hoping for something good. I really feel like this is going to wipe the floor now with that Zaki box. That Zaki box had nothing in it. And I'm thinking this could have something. Right, here we go. Mankey, Fungus, Bergmite. Joltik, Mantine, okay, Klinglank, and oh, <laughs> full art trainer, Pokemon Ranger out of the first pack. Yeah, I think this is already gonna have a lot more value. I'm very intrigued to see how much this will end up coming to, whether we get another hit, but that is banging straight away. Right, we'll go base sets, Sun and Moon next, and let's see if we can get something. So this is four to the front, being Sun and Moon. One, two, three, four. Question is, will it be good again? This this collection box is, well, the fact that I got Full Art Trainer, I collect Full Art Trainers as well, and I don't think I got that one either, so I'm very happy to add that. Right, Morlo, Skarmory, Catapri, Okay, Charger Bug, and ah, uh, two cannon, nothing in that one. Guardians Rising Time. Do you know what? I've not really ever opened much of this. And I can't think of what any of the big chase cards would be in this set, so off the top of my head, actually. Um, what, did anyone know? Let me know in the comments down below if there's a big chase card from Guardians Rising. Right, Brickley Hill, beware. Oh, that is a pretty nice artwork on that one, isn't it? Glinga, Geodude, Pat Ripped, Litwick, Pancham. Okay, Vanillite. That is such a cool little artwork on that Vanillite. And, ah, uh, Recurrio. Right, another Guardians Rising pack. And then we've got the Breakthrough and, of course, Evolutions. Oh, come on, Charizard. It's been on that shelf for like, what, two and a half years now. And imagine it has a Charizard in it. All this time, it's been sat there with it in it. That would be amazing. Right, Kavana, Fledgling, Litwick, Golospod, and talon flame no hollow right breakthrough and then time for evolutions the main event shall we say uh breakthrough is still a cool set breakthrough breakpoint i like all of those oh i don't know if code cards came into effect in this but that's got a white back to it or they're not with it so i guess we're gonna find out in a sec aren't we right starmy spedu skiddo bronzor meowth zoro rolts very cute little artworks. XY era. Oh, we got the Skiddo reverse. I really like XY era like products. I think the card artworks are very cool. And Halucha. Okay, so the white code card didn't come into effect for this set. I think it was Breakpoint that it started, wasn't it? Or is it Evolutions? I can't remember. Okay, time for last pack magic. Bring us luck. Bring us luck, Evolutions. It's got Charizard on the front. Let's get something, shall we? Come on, let's get a hit. Straight away, one, two, three, to the front. Is there something at the back of this? Did I do that right? I did do that right, right. So we got a Kakuna. We got a Charmeleon. Okay, Professor Oak, Onyx, Nidoran, Poliwag. There's that energy. Ratata. so we could get reverse Charizard maybe? Is that gonna be? No, it's a Kakuna reverse. Okay, here we go. Come on. Oh, it was red as well. No, it's the Arcanine non-hollow to finish it off. But uh, yeah, we're still going to do the maths and work out that winner. But I think, I think it's going to be an Incineroar. Okay, the results are in and we're going to kick off with the cheap box. The total value of everything we got out of that Zaki and V Union box came to about £24. Quite surprised at how much some of those promo cards go for. Like the four cards that make up the one V Union card. Yeah, about 15 quid people are paying for them. Whereas the expensive box on the other hand, it did win but didn't make as much money as you would expect at all. The total value of everything that came out of that Incineroar GX Premium Collection box came to £35 and most of that 
came from the Jumbo promo card. That Pokemon Ranger card comes about seven quid. But either way, it is a win for the expensive box. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to get involved in that giveaway. Like, subscribe, and comment, and all that lovely stuff. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.